Hey YouTube, this is Kishan and it's time for celebration because we just crossed 10,000 subscribers on our YouTube channel Kishan Shade. So as promised that when we cross 10,000 subscribers, I will start updating the real-time chat application and add some new features to it. So yeah, thank you for supporting my channel and my projects. Make sure if you haven't subscribed to the channel, subscribe to the channel and like this video. So in this video, what we are going to do is we'll start adding more features to the real-time chat app. We'll start by improving the performance of the React application by using the lazy and suspense to improve the react performance so basically what the issue here is our app is compiled by webpack and webpack compiles all of these routes and components at once and bundle it into a large single file and load it initially when we load our app so when we hit the login route initially all the single large bundle is downloaded and it is going to take time so what we are going to do is we are going to use the react code splitting using the lazy and suspense api provided by react let me show you the issue here so whenever i will create the build of our react application by yarn build there would be a one single bundle which is created okay so the build has been created so yeah this is the main bundle of 150 kbs so when we hit the login or register initially any route then all the other pages are also downloaded with the bundle. So we don't want to do that. So what we are going to do is we are going to use the code splitting method. So let's do that. I'll just uh, start the react application again by yarn. Okay, it's not yarn, yarn start. Again, if you don't have the chat application, you can go to this GitHub repository in the description and download it via this button here. Now let's head over to here and what we are going to do is we are going to have a const of chat is equals to lazy. Make sure that lazy is imported from react and this is going to have a callback function and we are going to use the import method to import this chat component from pages. So yeah, that's pretty much it. We are going to remove this and we are going to do the same for login register and the set out our page. Yeah. So I'm going to do const login equals to lazy and we're going to use the import dot slash login pages and inside of that login now let's do the same for register equals to lazy and this is going to be import dot slash pages and register that's it now again const set avatar equals to lazy and import from dot slash components set avatar and let's remove all of these imports let's save now inside the browser router what we are going to do is we are going to use the suspense component suspense provided by react make sure it is imported at the top close it and we are going to wrap our routes inside this suspense and while everything is loaded we are going to use a fallback ui which is going to be a react fragments for now then we are going to use the loaders while the other bundle is loaded and now make sure that inside the pages inside the chat component this component is exported by default all of these components export default again inside the set avatar export default save it and let's see if it is working okay let's reload the page again do we have any errors console no we don't create one login okay so yeah that's working now i'm gonna just show you that our bundle size is decreased by building the react tab again by yarn build okay so the build has been generated 
so and you can see that our build is split into multiple smaller files so all of these are loaded as and when these are deleted not at the single time when the web page is loaded so yeah we have improved uh, the performance of our react app so the process is called code splitting using the react lazy and suspense api so yeah that's pretty much it for this video uh, in the next video we are going to implement the login sign up with twitter facebook and google so the ui part is pretty much done i just posted a shot of that into my community make sure to like that so this is the ui part so this part would be done using firebase and yeah i have also posted uh, other thing that what i'm gonna cover into this application so these are all the features that i'm gonna build into this react chat application so yeah that's pretty much it make sure to subscribe to the channel and like this video that's me kishan Shade signing out thank you for watching this video